Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the infamous Dino Wobble. Let's check it out. What's going on, YouTube? FXDLS Brooklyn is back in the building. And catching me on my 2001 FXDX. This is one of the bikes that is most notorious for actually having the quote unquote Dyna death wobble. I can tell you that in my experience, I put heavy miles on three different models of Dynas. That being the 2016 Dyna Lowrider S, the 2006 Street Bob FX DBI. That was the one that we had the 116 in that we sold last year. And then finally, my 2001 FX DX. The Dyna wobble is a very, very interesting topic that many of you especially those of you who are interested in buying a Dyna often write in and ask me about so I'm gonna do my best to address it and talk about things that I've done to mitigate it and where I've experienced and where I have not experienced it so first off in my experience what I'll tell you is all Dynas are not equal so my 2016 Dyna Lowrider S, what I'll tell you is even with stock suspension having done nothing to the bike that bike never once gave me the dyna wobble never once even till this day with the 124 giant motor in there that that particular bike and model just never gave me the dyna wobble you know i don't know what to tell you you know the only big difference is that was the leader of all the dynas i had ridden you know that was right before they killed the entire line the 2006, the FX DBI, that one gave it to me sometimes, specifically if I was hitting a curve and I hit a bump, then best believe I was getting that Dyna Wobble on that bike for sure. Now this bike, this bike gives it to me like none of the others. This bike definitely is hitting me with the Dyna Wobble in a bunch of different scenarios, right? So I first noticed it in that scenario if I'm hitting a curve really fast on this bike. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's like the bike almost starts to get like a swaying motion where you feel like it's just going to fishtail out. It's really scary, man. And even people who I know who have been riding these bikes since I was in like middle school will tell you that it's really scary and that's coming from like some of the most experienced riders I know it just is what it is it's not a it ain't a pleasant thing to go through you don't want to deal with it you know it's not fun and you know every time I've had it I've been able to come out of it but again it gets sketchy but yeah and then in this one what's different about the DX and I think so it has to do with number one how high this bike sits like the bike definitely sits high bike definitely sits higher than the later Dynas that's the thing I notice off the bat when I switch off of this bike and my lowrider and then I think it also has to do something with the swing arm you know, people who nerd out about this stuff way more than I do will tell you that there's something that was designed with the swing arm on this bike that has to do with some of that swaying, right? But again, out of all my Dynas, I'll tell you what, like, the model that's probably the most popular these days, which is a early 2000 FXDX, actually gives it to me more than any of the other Dynas I've ever ridden. Which is funny, because this is, like, the most sought-after year and model of Dyna you could find out there in terms of Dyna Bro cool guy stats. So, what have I done to mitigate it? Well, here's the first thing I've noticed. When I have Jenny on the back, it almost never happens, right? I could be hitting 90 plus with her on the back and it's not an issue. It never happens. And that was um, something that Sal Badfoot had told me to try out. He was like, you know what, you know, try putting the girl on the back and then ride the way you're going to ride and see what happens. So I did that and that actually solved it immediately. And I was going to make a really tongue in cheek video about the best way to solve it is just to put on 115 pounds because that's what worked for me. But then Jenny was like, well, you know, you don't know if it's because you put all that weight in the back here or if it's because you put all the weight on there. Because I got friends who outweigh me by almost 115 pounds that ride these bikes and they still get the dying to death wobble. So I almost think putting her on the back almost had to do with some sort of weight distribution where her being on the back did something to cause it to not happen. Right. That's the first thing. The other thing that's really interesting about this bike is I get it a lot more when I run these Leather Pro bags, right? When I take these bags off, I notice that I'm getting it a lot less, which is kind of interesting, right? I've, it's almost, I, I guess it kind of makes sense because the bike is sitting so high. So 
Whereas on my Dyna Lowrider S, when I throw those bags on, the weight is kind of negligible. But I guess on this one, the weight actually does make a difference because, again, the bike's sitting higher. So I noticed that bags definitely have a uh, play a part in that situation. Now, me personally, you know, I don't think I'm going to do anything else to this bike until I have to in terms of mitigating the Dyna Death Wobble. For me, it's just like, okay, I know the scenarios where I can't go fast. I know the scenarios when I can go fast, and that's it. And I'm kind of fine with that. I get out all my speed demons pretty much on my 124 Lowrider S. For this, yeah, I don't want to dump thousands and thousands of dollars just to have this bike not do one thing. I'm still able to ride this bike really fast and aggressive when I want to, so that's just me. But if you're someone where it is your main bike or it is something that's really, really giving you a hard time performance wise, you know, some of the things that I know people do is number one, I think the first thing is replacing the motor mounts. The motor mounts on this bike are going anyway, so I'm going to have to replace them at some point. So definitely replacing the motor mounts, you know, is one thing you could do to probably help mitigate that. The other thing is there's stabilizers that you could throw in there, like the GPR stabilizer, you know, you could throw that front and rear throw some stabilizers on there that's supposed to really help out i've heard that solve the issue for a lot of people throw a uh, steering dampener on which i used to run one when i first bought this bike but i actually took it off because i was throwing some fork boots on here and i kind of regret taking that off so throw a steering dampener on there that's another thing you could do let's uh, shut up and ride this damn thing ah uh, yes so yeah, that's the Dyna Death Wobble in a nutshell, right? There's definitely things you could do to mitigate it, but it's kind of insane to me, even still, that there is a bike made only, uh, only two decades ago, which I guess that's kind of a long time ago, I don't know. Where it's like, even back in 2001 or whatever, you're paying what you're paying for this bike over, a, over 10 Gs easily. And then the fact that you're going to have to put in more money to address this insane issue <laughs> kind of baffles my mind even still. So, I mean, talking to you now in the year of 2022, that's why I made a video recently about, you know, people who were trying to ride the Dynabro train and get a bike like this as their main bike, or thinking about the more realistic option which is getting a modern soft tail where you're going to be laying down probably the same amount of money and it's not going to do it's definitely not going to give you the uh, death wobble for sure so at the end of the day yes the death wobble exists right but these bikes are a lot of fun <laughs> This uh, 2001 FXDX is probably one of my funnest bikes to ride. So, I, uh, I deal with the Dyna Death Wobble. Like right now, hitting a curve on the highway, I'm okay, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's definitely some wobbling action happening. You know, it's not, uh, it's not all confidence inspiring right but yeah again the thing the other takeaway here is not all dynas do it right my 2016 dyna lowrider s does not do it so i don't know what to tell you this is one where i think the comment section is probably going to be really fruitful there's a lot of physics reasons why this happens so check out the comment section on this one but that's it man Dyna Death Bobble from yours truly. One of the uh, one of the Dyna Bros out there of a dying breed as uh, those Milwaukee 8s start to take over. But as always, whether you're on a bike like this one where you're getting the Dyna Death Wobble or you're on a modern Harley Davidson where they've corrected such issues, Stay safe out there, stay low out there. Listen to the bad brains, practice positive mental attitude.